Oh, so last night I watched um, Marriage Boot Camp Reality si The Reality Season. So, you know, it has Phaedra, Corrupt, uh, Willie from that Diddy group, uh, Day 26. It has uh, Vado and Tahiri. I'm not too familiar with them, but I know that they're from like, uh, well, Tahiri, I think it's from Love and Hip Hop. Anyway, so I watched last week and I saw Tahiri. She is one of those women who um, is disrespectful to men. I mean, I get it. That's just how some people are. Whatever. Anyway, in the uh, in the episode last week, I saw her throw apples at him. Apples or oranges, I don't know what it was. But she threw them hard like she was a baseball pitcher for the Major League Baseball. Anyway, he sat there, he took it. And then she just was talking mess after mess after mess. But before I continue, let me just say this. I do not condone violence in any shape, form, or fashion. And I always say, if you do not want to be hit, don't hit. Period. Period. I don't care. Man, woman, dog, cat, whatever. If you don't want to be hit, don't hit. Period. I don't care what no one says. That's always been my motto. But if somebody put their hands on you or physically comes at you, do whatever you have to do to get them off you. That's just my motto. Anyway, so she did that. And so, you know, the show went on and on. And then, um, yeah, he was just sitting there and then they were paying the camera on him. And I was like, ooh, he is so mad. You can see it. I could see it. Like, he is so mad. I had candy in my mouth, so. Yeah. Anyway, I kept thinking, he is, he is heated. He is steaming. And if it was visible, you could see the, the smoke, the steam coming out of every hole. His eyes, his ears, his nose, his mouth, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, so last night was the follow-up episode to last week oh last week at the very end they she said something to him and it just he snapped he jumped up at her he jumping everybody was in shock and dr ish had to get up dr ish and i think security you know grab him off him take him out the room and she was just there like did that just happen yeah, it just happened. So anyway, last night was the follow-up to that, to last week's end. And so, um, they removed Vado from the house because they say they don't, condone, they don't condone violence. And I get it. It's for the safety of everyone. Uh, they removed him out of the house, brought up the issue and why he shouldn't hit a woman. And um, I, like I said, I don't condone violence, but how could you condone a woman hitting a man and not a man reacting uh, there is a saying that um, you can't control what you do to people what you say what you do physically and she physically attacked him by hitting him with those with the fruit throwing him really hard at him um, so you did that but you can't control the next person's reaction to what you did to them. So they removed him from the house for the safety of all the other guests in the house and everybody is saying, oh, I don't care what she did. He shouldn't put his hands on a woman, blah, blah, blah. scooby doo doo doc bop, bop, bop. Uh, if she don't hear him, I don't think he should hear her. You know what I mean? Um, so here's where I took issue with the whole they don't condone violence with them removing him from the house because of his violence towards her uh, weeks prior like a week prior to last week's episode the two guys willie and the pretty boy pretty yellow boy what's his name oh, yeah sorry i'm so not good with names but him and willie he beat willie's ass in that house <laughs> He 
dead, honestly. If my take, he beat Willie's ass. He beat Willie's ass in the house right there in front of everybody, just like Wado choked her, just like she hit him with the fruit. That boy, that man, that young man beat Willie's ass in the house. Now, they didn't get removed from the house. Why didn't they get removed? They both were talked to. They both, they both were, I, you know, sat down and they both were allowed to stay in the house. Violence is violence. Um, is it okay that they were two men that were fighting? Is that why they got to stay? Or, yeah, I don't know. Why did they get to stay? Why wasn't anybody else's safety taken into consideration when it was the two guys that literally fought? He knocked Willie's ass off his feet. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, but he did. He knocked them off his feet. And those two guys were allowed to remain in the house. But because Vado is a guy and he choked Tahiri, he had to be removed. Now, I would guess, just my assumption, if they would have asked her if she had wanted him removed from the house, I think she would have said no. I think maybe they could have separated them giving them a separate room or like they did they let him stay in some room by himself overnight and had security there uh to watch him but what do you think about uh a woman beating a man or hitting a man and being told that no matter what she does don't hit her what do you think about that because i feel like um Women can hurt men too physically. They probably, in the end, can't necessarily beat them. I mean, this is in most instances, not all. But what do you think about just that saying? I don't care what a woman does to a man, he should not hit her. So if she does something to physically hurt him, he should walk it off. He should just let it ride. He should do what? Help me understand. Maybe give me a different way of looking at it. Because all of my life, I've looked at it how I have looked at it. Because I just feel like physically, a woman can cause physical pain to a man just as much as a man can cause physical pain to her. And I've always thought to myself and said if you don't want to hit, don't hit because uh, you can't control someone else's reaction to what you do to them now I've always said I don't care how much shit anyone talks, I don't care what they say as long as they do not touch you if they touch you all bets are off, like trying to take their heads off you know uh, but if there's another way of saying things help me understand um, help me understand because abuse is abuse if it's men on men men on women whatever one mate can cause more harm but equal I don't know. I mean, I know it's, this isn't a popular opinion when I say, yeah, if you don't want a man to hit you, keep your hands off that man. Honestly, there's a train there. Honestly, even myself in my life, yeah, I've thought about like wanting to knock the out of a guy before wanting to do a roundhouse drop kick on a guy before but I take a pause because he might kick my ass he might hit me harder than I can hit him so I'm not going to do it because I don't want to be hit I'm not hitting period but if you hit me I'm going to do whatever if I have to pick up something I'm going to pick up something so yeah I just I didn't like that which to me it was a double standard because the two guys uh, they got into a fight and they were throwing down 
and they weren't removed from the house. They weren't. And uh, yeah, they squashed it. They squashed it, but they were physical. And if you don't condone violence, you don't condone violence, period. So what were your thoughts on it? Did you watch the show or do you watch it? I normally uh, don't, but if someone's on there that I like, I would. Well, one, I like Judge Lynn Toler. I think she is awesome and she has some really good uh, advice. I love to hear her advice. And the reality stars or the people that's actually on there that I like is uh, Phaedra Parks. I'm team Phaedra. No, she's not perfect, but neither are you, neither am I. And so she's the main reason why I was watching, but I also, I like Corrupt. I like uh, his music and I hope he gets better with the, get some treatments for his alcoholism. Cause that's just what it is. But I like Corrupt. So those are the main reasons I'm watching this season. And I just wanted to ask about that um, bottle choking her out. Like, I just think he snapped. Like, in that moment, he felt disrespected. Not just in that moment, but leading up to that moment, he felt she had been disrespecting him. And then she tossed them oranges like she was Sammy Sosa playing in the Major League Basketball. Baseball. I knew that. So she she hit him twice. She threw him and she hit him twice. And he sat there. You could just see him. So what do you think? Do you think that no matter what a woman does to a man, he should not hit her? He should just walk away? Um, or how do you think he should handle it? What do you think he should do? Um, what do you think about them putting him out of the house? and not putting the two guys out oh man i hate i forgot the guy's name oh but you know what <laughs> willie and the guy had to fight i laughed because i don't know i don't remember his exact uh words but the light-skinned guy he you know he he reminded me of a guy i heard on the ricky smiley morning show um i think it was i think somebody pulled up my lounge I think it was on a um, paternity test Tuesday, but anyway, the guy was like, he is, he said he was a light-skinned dude with dark skin tendencies, and so this is what this light-skinned guy reminded me of on uh, marriage boot camp. But I'm interested in hearing what your thoughts are on it, and because those are mine, which I know my opinion is not the most popular opinion. But it is what it is, and if you can help me view things differently, I'm open to it. But again, my thoughts is, if you don't want to be hit, don't hit. Period. Man or woman. Period. That is wrong. Don't put your hands on anyone. Don't throw something at anyone. Like, if you don't like what someone's saying, now that's easy to get up and walk away from. Sometimes it's not so easy because words can get you feeling some kind of way. I get that. Like, you can be so angry and you want to knock somebody upside their head. But get up and walk away. Get up and walk away. But that was, that was pretty interesting. You know, I was up at 2 o'clock this morning watching it because I wake up in the middle of the night. And so I just happened to see that it was on so I watched it and I thought oh that's a double standard to me it was a double standard to put him out and not put them out also but one thing I can say that was cool or made it cool was the fact that uh, Dr. Ish is still going to work with him and help him do better or work with them two separately to Harry and Vito. I don't know what Vito does, who he is, none of that. I'm not too familiar with Tahiri either, but yeah, I thought it was interesting. 
the whole of everything. I thought it was interesting. So, what's your opinions? What, is, what are your thoughts and opinions? And uh, let me know how or why I should see things differently than the way that I do. Again, um, um, yeah, I don't condone violence, period. I'm not that person. I've taken so much in in my life verbally. And it stings. It can sting, but I ain't never went after nobody's head for something they said. And sometimes, verbally, I should have, but why? That's their issues, not mine, right? All right, uh, like, share, comment, and please subscribe. Let me know what you think. What's your thoughts and your opinions? Thanks for watching.